Hi, Frank. Thanks for coming in. Uh, just talk about how you were able to grow and implement the offense, you know, starting from Duke through the season. How did that process work? You know what? The process was great. The play, the players responded uh, to the coaches. The coaches did a great job teaching the system. Uh, the players took it from the classroom to the practice field to the game field. Obviously, it being our first time together, we kind of had to find out a little bit about who we were in terms of personnel. And as the season went on, uh, we learned more about ourselves in terms of how would we have to call the game the run schemes, the protection schemes, the passing game to put ourselves in a position to be successful. And what we've seen, we've seen that really carry over to the spring that year two, you know, year one, you're learning it. Year two, you have a chance to, to master it. Just a quick follow on that, Frank. Uh, with so many incumbent pieces coming back, how much easier is it to maybe get more sophisticated and throw some, some different wrinkles at teams? Well, it's easier because the players have been in the system. You know, it, it's they were in it last spring for a short period of time. Then they had training camp in the season. So, obviously, they understand the terminology, uh, the run game system, the protection system, the passing game system, the fundamentals and techniques that we're teaching as coaches. You know, so it's certainly easier. But, hey, by no means is football an easy game. What we ask these guys to do, it's hard. Uh, you're out there competing every snap against other really good players. But you can certainly see that our experience in the system has carried over. We'll go next to Kevin. Hey, Coach. Good to see you. Uh, Great so to see you. Kind of, you kind of just touched on it a little bit, but just the comfortability factor, you know, between day one, or week one last year and, and week one or, or day one this year, um, how much easier has it been, you know, to kind of hit the ground running a little bit? Well, it's been easier. And I tell you what's been great is that we have continuity. We have a great offensive staff. It's great to have the continuity of the staff together again uh, for year two. You look at the players, the roster really hasn't changed. So just having that continuity between the coaches and the players it has been awesome. We'll go next to Andy. Hey, Frank, thanks for being here. What do you think thanks is the Andy. biggest difference between what you see from Phil now as opposed to what you saw from him this time last year? Well, he knows what to do. You got to remember when Phil came in here last year, just like the rest of the guys, everything was new to him. You know, the terminology, uh, the actual scheme, the fundamentals and technique. So they were, they were starting over as quarterbacks. Now that they have a year in the system, uh, they understand what to do and how to do it. You know, they understand what it's going to look like, and they can think and react much quick, quicker, make good decisions. We'll go next to Dan. Yeah, Coach, kind of building on top of that, too, um, just how did he react over the course of the year as, as you started to add more things in? And, and not only that, but the entire depth of the room and the entire – uh, quarterback room itself like how have they developed and, and how have you kind of seen that uh, you know from one to I don't know I think it's six in that room right now yeah, I tell you what man we're so proud of these quarterbacks I've been part of special special rooms the quarterback rooms throughout my career and the room we have here is outstanding first off they're unbelievable student athletes uh, they're great they're great guys uh, they have high character. They're good leaders. They work hard on and off the field. They've taken they've taken the knowledge from the classroom to the practice field to the game field. They 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 compete with each other. Uh, it is really neat to see how close they are and how work how well they work together. Um, obviously, as time goes on, they're going to understand the expectations of the position from fundamentals and technique to their run game checks, pass game checks, protection adjustments. Uh, the system itself, you know, when we put the system in last year, we put it in the off-season and training camp. So when the season comes, we have a pretty big library to choose from. So during the season, it's not like we're drawing up new plays, creating new wrinkles. Um, so, you know, we have a heavy installation that we're able to draw from. And that's what makes it really nice now is that these guys understand the concepts in all three phases 
and they're just getting more repetitions at it. Uh, if I can just throw one other thing on that too, how does that kind of compare with the NFL that you that you came from in your background? With the NFL, you might only have two quarterbacks or three quarterbacks in the room, and in college, you have obviously more. Well, you know what? We really the room's the same. It's just you got a couple more numbers. Um, but in terms of how you teach the how you teach the NFL quarterback and college quarterback, and especially within our system. You know, the meeting room, the training methods, how we practice, uh, what the expectations are, they haven't changed. It's just, okay, you, you got a few more quarterbacks that go through your drill work, and a couple guys might not get as many reps throughout practice. We'll go next, Maraj. Hey, Coach, you mentioned uh, how fortunate you are to have such continuity on your offense, but there's a one key cog in your machine that's, that's moved on to, to greener pastures. How are, what's your vision for is replacing the output that Hunter provided and, and all else that he was able to do for the team? Yeah, well, the vision is that we will change in terms of we want to be multiple personnel groupings, multiple formations, run the same plays different ways. Um, you know, we've talked to the tight end group that, hey, we don't expect the production to change. You know, now, does that mean uh, that the tight ends will catch as many balls? We can't say that because the defense will ultimately determine where the ball goes. But, you know, this is a tight end friendly offense, and we have very high expectations for that group. We got a great young tight end room, and we're excited to see them play. We'll go next to Rich. Hey, Coach, um, it's kind of surprising. You had two draft worthy offensive linemen returning this year. I, I kind of didn't expect that. And then you got, you know, with Tyler and Alec in the middle, just is that the foundation for everything that you're trying to do? That front five? Well, you know, football is the ultimate team game. It does start up front. And we got a great offensive line. Uh, Coach Applebaum, Coach Bucar do a great job coaching those guys. Uh, it's a great group starting with Alec in the middle. He's got great personality, work ethic. But, you know, the other nice thing about going into year two, and it's just not the offensive line, but every group, there's, there's competition. And, you know, competition brings out the best of everybody. And uh, we're, we're very fortunate that the guys came back and uh, we're excited. You know, after two, after two practices this spring, the offensive line has done an outstanding job. And we'll wrap things up today with Andy. You had a lot of wide receivers step up last year. We have Kobe White coming back. Uh, what kind of role do you envision for him this year? You know, I can't wait to see Kobe get back on the field, man. He's a special guy. Love being around him. Uh, he's a smart player. He's a tough player. He's a very good route runner. Um, we'll get him acclimated into the offense. You know, as the play caller, it's my responsibility to put these guys in a position to be successful. He will be one of those guys. He'll be one of those added weapons. And, uh, you know, throughout training camp, we'll find a good niche for him and hopefully – Hopefully you'll see in the fall that a healthy Kobe makes some big plays for us.